welcome to month two of the Game After the Game supplement to the three girls a day program. This month we decided to give you a little bit of a variety. Uh, last month we focused on sort of the bread and butter aspects of every day, the similarities, the process that occurs on a date. This month the dates are going to be a little bit different and they're going to go a little bit more extensive. They're going to go a little more in depth to what happens after leaving the first venue of the date. And uh, this first video is a great example of that as the majority of this video occurs in the secondary venue. In fact, we cut um, straight from the pull of the date to the secondary venue with you and we show you the sexual escalation and um, in a way almost the start of the LMR uh, portion of the date. So we actually show you how to get physical with a girl uh, on camera before your eyes. This text conversation is about as straightforward as it gets. Uh, basically, I get her number within three texts I follow my escalation sequence to the letter from the get-go. Now, you might find this uninteresting, but it's very important because you should realize that ma the majority of your scenarios that are going to work are going to look fairly similar to this. I mean, there are the ones where I do crazy turnarounds and these like flying backflip, like pass the shit test, like make her like spring into sexual state from hating me type of shit. Um, but that's going to be a small percentage of what you actually get. Most of your sex is going to come from these bread and butter situations. So this is just a great example of that and it highlights my escalation sequence really, really accurately. So here we go. The first message that I send to her is, I am deeply in love with your superficial appearance. Okay, a little like pun on deep and superficial, yay. Um, it's a highly complimentary initial text. Now the pros of this as an initial text are that when you do get a response, it's very likely to be positive. So the rest of your texting is probably going to be easier. So if you're playing a massive numbers game and you just want to make it easy for yourself and want to be highly time efficient, this is a really good text. Uh, however, this text is not terribly polarizing. So I've tested it to get a slightly less high response rate than some of the others. So it's a bit of a trade-off, uh, but it definitely have its, has its pros and it's definitely a good enough text to send and you can definitely get some great results from it. So she responds the way you would like to, which is positive, And she says, why, thank you. Seems like we'd get along to winky face. Obviously that is highly, highly, highly positive. So I'm going to go straight into my escalation sequence off of this. In fact, I'm going to go so much into my escalation sequence, I'm going to skip the first message. My typical escalation sequence, as I mentioned before, is are you adventurous? How do you feel about drinks and woody banter with a cute boy? Sounds good. My number is this. What's yours? So it's a three step sequence. In this case, it's so positive. I just skip the are you adventurous step. I feel it's not even necessary. I feel if anything that would move things backwards. So I just go straight to we just might. So tell me, what is your view on drinks and woody banter with cute boys? Right. Very to the point, very direct, but a little bit subtle, right? I'm asking her general view. I'm not saying let's grab a drink. So it is definitely a close. It's definitely moving the interaction forward, but it's not too blatant. It still fits the criteria of the soft close. And to this, her response was, it's been a while since I've had all three in the same room, but I'm down. Well, she certainly is down. So we're going to move it right forward and go to the close with my standard closing message, which you've probably seen many times before. And it goes like this. Sounds good to me. My number is number. What's yours? Todd. Uh, key note, do add your name here because when you get to texting her, you're going to text her your name and have her save it in the phone. If you haven't told her your name, that's just going to confuse the fuck out of her. So that's a tiny detail to be very, very aware of. Other than that, you're just basically closing. Again, I've mentioned before, giving your number first as sort of a reciprocity thing as well. So those are all key elements. In this case, it's so odd. I could probably just be like, what's your number? And it would have worked, but it's good to dot your I's and cross your T's. So that's what we do. And her response here is to give me her number. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but that's what a lot of them are going to look like. So get used to it. Now let's get on to the phone call. Hello. <laughs> hey there. Hey. Mm, you sound so, uh, hey. so responsible and serious. Very excited. <laughs> You're very excited. Is that what you said? Like, like read notes. <laughs> mm, I you work, so I'm like, oh, is that my phone? Uh. Well, I'm glad I got a hold of you. You have a very cute laugh. <laughs> mm. No, I know, I know, precious little yeah. about you. I know that you're you're cute and witty and fun. That's about it. Likewise. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, you know, that's I good. That's all I know about you. <laughs> I'm glad you think I'm cute. I appreciate that. <laughs> 
saw some pictures. I don't know. In person, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tell you about that. I'm actually three foot oh. tall. I don't have that many teeth, and I'm a little overweight. I'm kind of hairy, too. Is that is that a problem? Uh, uh, depends on where you're hairy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, you just gained major points for that. Okay. Um, well, I was thinking it might be fun to discuss all these things we don't know about each other over, I don't know, a quick drink sometime early this week. Okay. Does that sound good? Are you a big drinker? What, what? Yeah, I'm, are you a big drinker? Uh, not so much, but I'll do it socially with a cute girl. Yeah, see me either. I'm a lightweight, so... You're lightweight? Okay, cool. Well, that's good. Yeah, well, like let's keep it to... Oh, really? Oh, that's adorable. Because yeah. you're like... You're super tiny, huh? Um, That's good. We'll keep it to... We'll keep it to a couple drinks at most, because, you know, I don't drink that often either, so I would hate for you to take advantage I'm of a, me. I'm a big eater, though. Are you really? So you have quite the little metabolism going on. I, yes. Yeah. That's good. Meat and cheese. Cool. How do you feel about... Doing a drink maybe around like seven thirty or eight on I don't see either Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, probably. When do you get back in town? I fly back Monday morning, like early, early Monday morning. Okay. Yeah, should be. Um... Yeah, but uh, yeah, so I'm in that area, but um, I can come up with probably a nice place where we could grab a quiet sort of romantic drink if you're down for that okay. does that work for you yeah sure. okay um let's do that let's plan on plan on monday and i'll text you an address uh where or i guess a location where we can meet up okay perfect i look forward to it you sound you sound actually really adorable <laughs> wait till you see me Wait till I see you. Oh yeah. <laughs> will, I, will I be duly impressed? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you have a lot to live up to now, but I'm excited. Okay. All right. I will, I'll text you uh, probably tomorrow, right. and then I'll I'll see you on Monday. Oh really? Let me check with her. Hmm. I'm duly impressed <laughs> twice now. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Right. Cool. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you t uh, on Monday then. All right. All right, I'll talk to you soon. You All right, take care. Bye. Okay. I usually live nearby and don't bother. <laughs> you don't bother? Yeah. Driving? Uh, I mean, I do sometimes. What I do is uh, you have for a car? yeah. <laughs> my my company has five <laughs> cars here, uh -huh. but sometimes they're all in use. So when they're in use, I take a taxi. Like, um, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, so would you like to ride together? In my car or in a taxi? Either. I'm good with both. My taxi. Okay. To you. Just enough information that you can imagine. I'm, I'm very light on my powers of imagination. Okay. Huh. I don't think she is a concern for watching her head. <laughs> I don't think she'd hit her head if she stood up. Uh, let's go to Meridian, please. Uh, Flamingo and Cobo. Oh, my goodness. Flamingo? Yeah, Flamingo and Cobo. Um, Cobo? Yeah, entrance on Flamingo. Yeah. Is that where you live? Meridian. Uh, that's where we are. my company does a lot of business. Meridian. This girl I ever dated did that. Oh, yeah? She this girl I ever dated I met at the casino, and she was playing with somebody else's money. Playing quite, quite liberally with somebody else's money. Hey, they offer. Uh huh. <laughs> mm. Safer that way. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. I do agree with that. I have one shady story though. Oh, do that tell. Part about that. If you're willing to tell it. If mm. you're not, it's okay. Mm. I have a lot of shady stories, actually, but they were, you know, from a long time ago, way back in the day. Straight for the heavy shit with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there, Why not? There'll be none of that tonight, but um, I do appreciate the thought and the honesty of the story. Mm -hmm. That's sweet of you. Like I do.
Why, well, because I understand you so well? Mm, I don't know if you understand me. No? Hard to understand. Are you? Yeah. I don't think you're that tough. No? No, not so bad. Come on, man. I'll help you up. Come. How do I get in trouble? Oh, you're bad. Who, me? <laughs> not bad. I'm, not even, I'm only touching your hands. <laughs> I wouldn't even go any further than just touch oh, your hands. Yeah. What? Do you like that? When I touch your hands? <laughs> <laughs> How what? Mm, you're cute. I'm not that much trouble. Only mm -hmm. a little bit. I just like to tease a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm all talk, no action. Mm -hmm. I just go ever so close mm -hmm. and make you wonder and wish and never quite give you what you really want. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that reaction, it's cute. <laughs> I really would like it if your head wasn't <laughs> on my nose, but yes, otherwise I like it. Yeah. You are fun to tease though. Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one if you tell me one. One for one, it's fair. Deal? All right. Can I go first or second? Uh, second. I figured. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Never too obvious. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I've done some crazy stuff. Yeah? Yeah. More or less shady than mine. I don't know shady. Okay. Maybe it's like shaky. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I've I done... Shady. I don't really do shady stuff. Fair enough. I like that. I've done yeah. some of that too. As much as I like playing with your body sit up, I want to look you in the eyes for a minute. And it's getting, you know, I'm getting a little too comfy with you. <laughs> Are you going to make me all shy again? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. There's, oh my god. You can whisper to me if you want. Whisper in my ear. I was about to tell you a story. Yeah, you was going to make you sit up. You would have never known whatever. <laughs> So unless you were just planning, unless you were just planning on using me for my body, <laughs> in that case, just hold back because you wouldn't want to freak me out first. But you, know, if you actually want to get to know me, you shouldn't hold back. <laughs> it's fair, right? Uh -huh. That's why I'm, you know, honest with you. I feel like there's. I feel like either what, either you like me or you don't. As I am. Still a lot. A lot of what? Know. Craziest place you fooled around and or maybe went further, undisclosed, with a boy. Uh, and was, you don't have to say what did or didn't happen. That hey, is left to the imagination. That's not too crazy. That's not yeah. really a crazy story. Really? Yeah. So like, like a living room? <laughs> Like one time, <laughs> one time we did it next to the bed. The kitchen. <laughs> well, does it feel at least a little bit good to be free and open to possibility? Mm-hmm. Good. Come with me though. I feel like we have like an audience for our conversation right now. I'd rather walk. Come. Yes, don't forget this. I know one other place we can sit out and talk. There definitely won't be people, but it's still like public. Still like outdoors, so. Round two. What's that? Let's try this again. <laughs> Round two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna hang out on the balcony here. 
You are you're here, hanging out on the balcony here. You are not thick okay, inside, yeah. and you are not to do anything untoward. Okay, okay. And you are not to rub me blind or taser me or <laughs> drug me or um, stare at me while I'm asleep and you know in a creepy way. Any of those types of things. Deal. Right. 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 Crazy. Entre. Entre, mademoiselle, entre.